We've told so many stories with Bruce Wayne over the years. The most interesting thing about the character and what makes him so special and so unique is that he is conspicuous by his absence as well. He's a character that has really no superpowers but can stand toe to toe with God. When Batman is out of the room and not there, you still feel his presence. And we want to show the prolonged presence, not just the fact on how it affects the city, but also the people who've known him the best, the most, and the changes in how they act and how they feel they should be able to replace him. Battle for the Cal is a three-issue limited series uh, that we have coming out in March, which runs till May. It uh, revolves around the issues surrounding Gotham City after the apparent death of Batman. We know that Batman appears to be, at least Bruce Wayne appears to be lost in time, but everybody in Gotham City believes him to be dead. The newspapers are reporting and speculating, like, is Batman gone forever? So at this particular moment, the question is, is there a need for a Batman in Gotham City? And all the heroes that have been inspired by Batman over the years converge on the city, but also all the villains have, which have fought him. Gotham City at this point in time is going through a state of extreme turmoil. With the absence of Batman and the heroes in Gotham City having to readjust themselves to make up for that void, crime is on the rise. It's really kind of going into a downward spiral. We have rampant gangs of vigilantes just uh, that were ordinary good people but are trying to take back their city on their own. Basically Gotham City turns into a battleground and you find the villains of Arkham are loose and the heroes that Batman aspired are starting to battle among themselves about who should be the one to take on the mantle, take on the cowl, but more importantly what is the role of a Batman in Gotham and how do they see filling that role. The battle going on behind the scenes is the battle for the cowl where we will have various characters trying to come in and take the place of Batman. The best part of the three Robins with the, the disappearance of Batman is that you can see how unique they are in their own rights. The fact that they all stepped in and filled the role of Robin as the sidekick of Batman is what unites them, but who they are and how they react to the disappearance on the death of Bruce uh, makes them very different. You know, Jason steps up and says, I am Batman. He thinks he is the, the heir to the crown. This is his return from the death is all about, is to fill that role. He has a more brutal sense of uh, justice and uh, his own ideas as to what Batman should be like and who should be Batman doesn't follow what some of the other characters believe. Dick Grayson um, is someone who had existed with Bruce Wayne and Batman for so long and you know, was his protege, but for almost the same amount of time that he was with Batman, he's been away doing his own thing as Nightwing. So he's really been his own man, his own person. He's decided, I've tried it, it's not for me. I didn't, didn't like what I became and um, he thinks that they can handle things on their own, and he has something to prove. Can he handle it as, as Nightwing? Can he step into the front and be what Bruce Wayne was? Dick is approaching things thinking that perhaps the Batman legacy should end with Bruce. Uh, perhaps there is no one else that can be Batman. Uh, you know, we can go on being Nightwing, go on being Robin, go on being Catwoman and Batgirl, but Batman should, should just be Bruce. Tim Drake, on the other hand, doesn't think Batman's dead at all. He's the thinker of the bunch. So he's the one who goes through it and says, you know what, I'm not even sure if he's actually dead and goes on the quest to find him. Well, usually he's, you know, a person who's um, very methodical and thinks things out. He might be reacting more on gut instinct and raw emotion uh, after these recent events. And Tim is definitely going to think that the Batman role should be filled immediately because Gotham City needs its protector. The best part about Battle for the Cal is everybody who's ever been touched by Batman's shadow, whether hero or villain, will be appearing in the story. Uh, we're going to see the return of one of the villains we thought dead, and more importantly, his return is the trigger for so much of the chaos that takes place in, within Gotham City. Penguin and Two-Face are going to seize this opportunity to try to wrest control from the other one and take Gotham as their own. Um, and then Spoiling things even more, there'll be a third player who enters the scene who Two-Face and Penguin definitely weren't expecting, and this other character, this other villain, will make an even bigger mess out of Gotham City.